Howdy. I'm the old ranger, and Death Valley's my stamping ground. Many's the tale of adventure I'm going to tell you about the Death Valley country. True stories, mind you. I can vouch for that. This story I'm going to tell you is about a most unusual courtship. It took place in the mining camp of Bullfrog, Nevada, near Death Valley, where gold was discovered in the year of 1904. The population, mostly male and mostly single, and every man jack of them doting on maybe jaggers, are better known as the Bullfrog Nugget. Give me some more prunes, Mamie. Another can of prunes. Coming up. I don't know why you fellas always want the prunes on the top shelf when those down below are just the same. <laughs> Hey, ain't them fellas ever gonna get done eating? <laughs> Not as long as Mamie's got strength enough to climb that ladder. <laughs> hey, fellas, did you hear the news? Gold strike at Rock Creek. Gold strike, Rock Creek. Get go, away. Go, 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 go. Let me go, let me go. Shine, there's a gold strike. Let me go. Calm down. Will you let me calm down? There ain't no strike. <laughs> oh, he No, I just wanted to get rid of him so I could talk to Mamie. Oh, <laughs> you sure got rid of him, didn't you? <laughs> sure, sure did. They plumb forgot about the eating. <laughs> Whoa. They plumb forgot about paying for it, too. Listen, here, you... Here, Pop. This will take care of it. Where did you get all that mattress stuffing, boy? I'll tell you later. Uh, after you've had a beer. A beer? Well, I see what you mean. A beer? I, maybe I'll have two or three, huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hi, Mamie. Where did all the fellas go? Uh, oh, they had to rush off. Oh. Mamie, I got something to tell you. I'm rich. I sold my claim to the Bullfrog Mining Company. I got $5,000. Well, how about it? How about what? Marrying me. Mamie, will you listen to me? I got $5,000, and it's all yours if you'll just say the word. And there are other things more important than money, Buck. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm offering it to you. Money is so... So crass. Crass? Uh, what does that mean? Well, just, um, just crass. Well, maybe I can drop back tonight after closing. Maybe it won't be so crassy then. Why, of course. Oh, Mr. Damon! Ah, the most priceless nugget in Bullfrog. What a sight to lighten the heart of the weary traveler. Oh, Mr. Damon, you're so sweet. I thought you was in Goldfield. I was, just got back. Thank you. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, nectar. No, coffee. Oh, very good, very good. Well, I had quite a session in Goldfield. Looks like I'll be forming a stock exchange here in Bullfrog any day now. It'll mean millions. Miss Jaggers ain't interested. What, what's that? There's other things in this world besides money. Oh, how very right you are, my friend. And that is why I am here, to bring you a present. A present for me? For no one else, my dear. And I personally held it in my arms all the way from Goldfield, just to see that it got here in good condition. There. Oh, Mr. Damon, a graphophone. I remembered your saying you're fond of music. Really good music. It's the breath of life to me. I'm a music lover myself. Oh, Buck, isn't it the most beautiful thing you ever saw? Looks kind of crass to me. Wait till you hear the records I bought for it. Oh, hurry and put one on. No, no, those are for your ears alone. I'll uh, bring them over to your house tonight. Oh, that'd be wonderful. Oh, but Mamie. I'll be finished here about nine. Well, nine o'clock it is. Oh, I can hardly wait. <laughs> oh, Mr. <laughs> Damon. <laughs> 
Well, see you tonight. Ta-ta. Mr. Damon, this is wonderful. Oh, please, Mr. Damon, I never could do two things at once. Mr. Damon, I thought you were a music lover, not just a plain lover. Oh, Mr. Damon. You know, Mamie, sometimes I just don't understand you. Sometimes I don't understand myself. But let's don't worry about it. Let's just play the music, huh? Aren't you going to eat your breakfast? No, I don't feel very hungry. Gee, Buck. You shouldn't waste food like that. Well, I'm paying for them. I still got my $5,000. Two perfectly good eggs. You eat one and I'll eat the other. Gosh, do you mean it? All for the same plate at once? Do you mind? Do I mind? Why, it's like being married to you, almost. Mamie, hmm? you, you do kind of like me a little bit, don't you? Mm, sure I do. Do you like me as much as Claude Damon? Mm. Well, finish your egg. You ain't going to marry him, are you, Mamie? Mm, I don't know yet. I ain't made up my mind. And I haven't heard all these records. I'll admit I don't know nothing about music, but I'd be awful good to you. Well, I'd work my fingers to the bone for you. Would you, Buck? Oh, Mamie. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> oh, hello. How's the lumber king? Mighty bored. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he don't get the joke. <laughs> bored? Lumber? <laughs> Say, Mamie, I got a surprise for you. What is it? Mamie, how long has it been since you had a real good bath? Now, just a minute. I resent that. I'm not talking to you. I know how long it's been since you've had one. Maybe. I heat up a kettle of water every Saturday night and sit in the tub. How would you like to stand under a shower and let the water go coursing down over you and lather yourself from head to foot and just luxuriate? But... Uh, but no I... buts about it now. I've saved out some lumber from the last shipment that was freighted in, and I've built something that nobody else in Bulldog has got. A real live shower bath. <laughs> oh, how could you without a pipeline? Don't need any pipeline. Just a little ingenuity. Mamie, I'd like you to be the first one to use it. Oh, Ernie, could I? You just name the hour. Now, just a minute, Mamie. You, you can't go to a man's house to take a bath. Shower ain't in the house. It's out back. Oh, so that's what that little building is. How about 5 o'clock this afternoon? I'll be seeing you. The Sam Hill, you will. Mamie, I don't like that. Well, it ain't you that's taking the bath. It's me. I'll bring my own soap and towel. See you at five. I'll be seeing you. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's, there's a barrel full of water here. All you got to do to pump the water up to that uh, tub up there is to just teeter back and forth on this grate, see? <laughs> that starts the shower to work it. I just can't believe it. I don't believe it. You can't tell me that just by pumping this board back and forth, the water's gonna come out of this silly thing? I told you it would work. <laughs> you believe it now? <laughs> All right, Mamie. You can hang your clothes up here. <laughs> well, I'll give it a try. If you boys will just fall back. <laughs> Oh. 
She's down to bedrock now, boys. <laughs> I'm gonna start teetering now. <laughs> Nothing happens. Teeter harder. Maybe Buck broke it. Oh! <laughs> How's it feel? Oh, oh, it feels delicious. It feels so wonderful, I don't ever want it to stop. It won't, as long as you keep on teetering. <laughs> How much longer are you going to be? Well, I ain't even got started yet. I don't see how a shower bath could take this long. <laughs> That's because you don't know women, boy. <laughs> uh, I guess I don't. Uh, hey. That's quite a lot of money you're toting there, ain't it, son? Mamie didn't seem to think so. Huh? Why, why, she didn't so much as bat an eye when I showed it to her. She didn't. Five thousand dollars. Well, at least she ain't greedy. Yeah. Ha, ha. What do you mean, ha? Huh? <laughs> Listen, boy. There is one of the greediest gals that ever lived. Not wait a minute. Not for money, I don't mean that. I mean for food. That gal was just naturally born hungry, and you can't fill her up. Why she ain't fat out her, I don't know. Unless, unless the eggs ain't fattening. But a husband could supply her with eggs. Oh, no, not in the style that she's accustomed to, don't no, no. Well, I would. I'd, uh, well, I'd... Let me tell you something, son. Look, in a camp like this, eggs are mighty expensive. Not only are they expensive, but they're mighty scarce. Now, these here are the last ones that I've got. Pop, you know something tells me eggs are going to be scarcer than they ever were before. Who? What's that on your neck? <laughs> Oh, it's uh, only a spot. <clears throat> yeah, and it's a big one, ain't it? Uh, well, How will you meet? Don't worry, Pop. I'll, I'll, I'll pay you for the eggs. Mm. Here, that ought to cover it. Sure covered that. You mean you want all of them? That's what I said. Well, I got ten cases sold. Sold? Hey, now, wait a minute. Ten cases. Thirty dozen to the case. Why, that's 300 dozen eggs. I'll take them. Well, what are you planning to do? Go open the store across the street? No, I ain't gonna sell them. Well, you ain't fixing to eat them all yourself, are you? No, I ain't gonna eat them. Well, then what are you gonna do with them? Sit on them and hatch them? Look, do I get them or don't I? They'll cost you three bucks a dozen. All right. Well, now, a uh, hundred and fifty dozen, that... Hey, now, wait a minute. I thought you said you had three hundred dozen. Oh, well, now, Buck, I, that wouldn't be fair to my regular customers. Now, take old man Jaggers, for instance. Why, why, he's been trading with me ever since I opened the store. All right, all right, I'll give you four bits an egg if you let me have all of them. Fifty cents an egg, six dollars a dozen. Jumping Jehoshaphat. Why, that's eighteen hundred dollars. Well? <laughs> You're crazy as a bed bug, Buck, but... You own him. Get her out. Hi, Pop. Oh, hi. Hi, hi Mom. <laughs> yeah, it feels pretty good, ain't you? Oh, I just had the most wonderful shower bath. A uh, three-hour one, yeah. Say, listen, Pop, any time you'd like to take a shower bath, just... Oh, no, no. I, I reckon I'll stick to my sponge. Oh, it's positively ingenious. And if there's one thing I admire about a man, it's ingenuity. Well, my mother always said... If there's one thing a woman likes in a husband, it's a handyman. I'm hungry. How'd you like some scrambled eggs on toast for a little nightcap, Ernie? Sounds good. I'm the best little egg scrambler ever. <laughs> Just a minute. I'm scared that you ain't gonna do any egg scrambling tonight. Why not? Because, you see, uh, there ain't none to scramble. Work my mouth. Oh. Well, then I'll just fetch some from the store. Oops. Just a minute. No, I... I guess you're wrong there, too, because Mr. Perkins just passed by and he says he's just fresh out of eggs, too. Oh, no. Oh, this is terrible. That teeter made me awful hungry, and nothing but eggs will do. If you'll excuse me, Ernie, I'm going home to bed. Without eggs, I wouldn't be fit company. Hey, 
look out. I couldn't help it, my hand's shaking so. My nerves are all shot to pieces. All I want is an egg. I wouldn't care how little it was. I wouldn't even care if it was a teensy weensy pullet egg. I sure wish I knew where I could lay my hands on some for you. Me too. I'd move heaven and earth. Uh, you don't have to do that, son. Cause it's going to be a fresh shipment in the first thing in the morning. <coughs> oh, thank goodness. Uh, where's it coming in from, Pop? Goldfield. You'll be at that store at the crack of dawn. Oh, don't you worry about that. <laughs> I got my order in already. <laughs> I'm awful sorry I spilled coffee on you. Oh, that's all right. It wasn't very good coffee anyway. Well, I guess I better be going. You can put him down. I'm no road agent. Gosh, you scared the living tar out of me. I understand you got a consignment of eggs aboard. Well, what's that to you? I want to buy him. Huh? How many you got? Uh, eight cases. What's your price? Well, the agreement with the fella down at the store was for two dollars and fifty cents a dozen. I'll give you five. Yeah, for how many? The whole shooting match. Holy Christmas. One thousand two hundred dollars. So, follow me. Well, that is a bit unusual. Treasure generally means gold and silver. Well, I guess there ain't no law that says we can't store eggs. Good. I'll bring him around tonight after dark. See you later, Pop. All right, Mimi. All right. You going out? Oh, yes. I'm going over to Ernie to take a shower bath. Well, you seem mighty happy about it. Oh, I am. Ernie was right. There's nothing like running water for frazzled nerves, unless it's good music. Oh, if you need anything, Pop will get it for you. <laughs> What's come over her, Pop? Has she found an egg or something? <laughs> she found a whole factory of them. Anything about hens? Well, I got a couple of old maid ants. No, I mean real ones with feathers. That lay eggs? That are supposed to. What's the matter with them when they don't? Well, could be they ain't happy. Or it could be they ain't getting the right kind of food. She puts up such a fuss, you'd think she laid one every day. But when I go out to look, the nest is empty. Well, uh, I've only got one more suggestion. What's that? Oh, Buck, I couldn't. Oh, well, I'd be glad to do it for you. Oh, but... <laughs> there she goes now. Uh, uh, I'll look for you. alarm.
Will you, Mamie? Will I what? Be my own fair bride. I'm sorry, Claude. You mean... But, darling, we have so much in common. Our love of music. It's no use, Claude. Frog to have her own private shower bath. I've even been toying with a scheme for heat and the water come winter. Well, how does that sound? I'm afraid not, Ernie. You mean you won't even think it over? It wouldn't do any good. Then you might as well stop teetering right now. Oh. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. No eggs yet? Oh, please, don't even mention that word. Well, then I'll have some hot cakes and sausage. Stack of wheat, Pop. On the country. Uh, coming up, coming up. Say, aren't you feeling well? You, you got big dark circles under your eyes. I haven't been sleeping well. I just keep dreaming that I... What's that on your chin? It's eggs. I can tell. Where did you get it, Buck? Must have been there for some time. Oh, don't lie to me. That's fresh egg. Where did you get it? Oh, I've got a supply on hand. Where? Wells Fargo office, along with payroll and bullion. How many you got? I ain't counted them. A dozen? More than that. Well, a hundred? More than that. A thousand? More than that. Well, where did you get them all? Oh, I've been accumulating them from time to time. What for? A nest egg. Fellow's got to look out for his future nowadays. Well, what's eggs got to do with your future? Well... I might decide to become a butter and egg man. An egg man? Oh, I'd love that. You would? Well, you did ask me to marry you. Well, that was some time ago. Things have changed a lot since then. How? Huh. Well, haven't got much more money. I'm almost broke. Well, but you got eggs. Well, some of them are broke, too. But are you trying to tell me you don't love me anymore? Well, you trying to tell me that you do love me all of a sudden? I've always loved you, Buck. Honest? Honest. Oh, Mamie. Oh, there you are. Say, I've been looking all over town for you. Well, anything wrong? Well, you just step down to the express office and you'll find out. Oh, Buck, your eggs. Well, what's happened to them? Well, what do you expect? Storing them in there for weeks at 90 degrees. Oh, all my eggs gone to glory. Maybe we can save some if we hurry. Yeah. Hold your nose now. Well, I'll be everlasting. Oh, Buck, isn't it wonderful? We're all set. Huh? We can start a chicken ranch. Yeah. Just you and me, Mamie. And hundreds of little ones. How long will it take, Don, before they start to lay? Well, I don't know, but we're sure going to find out. The camp of Bullfrog is only a scar on the desert today. Mamie must be an old lady by now, but she's still remembered by those who knew her when. The girl who was won by the man who cornered the egg market. Uh -huh.